couple years ago, I participated in a three-day seminar called Landmark Forum, which was aimed at examining and better understanding the stories we tell ourselves, particularly about our pasts. Specifically, we explored how those stories led us to where we are and how transforming those stories can lead us to where we want to go. One activity I found particularly enlightening was the fundamental genesis of identity, also known as our winning formula. Because as much as we would like to believe that we're intelligent, free-thinking, rational people, the truth is we're, more often than not, heavily controlled by our emotions, traumas, and circumstances. In particular, our fundamental conditioning, shaped by the pursuit of pleasure and, more consequentially, the avoidance of pain, plays a much larger role in our lives than we often realize and care to admit. In fact, all of us experience three distinct traumatic incidents that occur in our early lives that compel us to develop certain mindsets in the hopes of protecting ourselves against the future possibility of experiencing those pains again. Those three mindsets form the fundamental genesis of our identity. The first incident occurs when we're very young and is often among the earliest of the memories we can remember. We all start out as innocent babies, blissfully ignorant of reality. To us, everything seems perfect and we don't have a care in the world. But then something happens where we harshly realize, for the first time, that things can go very wrong. We learn that life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. We confront the indisputable presence of evil, malevolence, or wrongdoing in the world. This experience typically leaves us feeling vulnerable, betrayed, or helpless. And as a result, we tell ourselves a particular story about who we need to be to guard against this pain from ever occurring again. The second incident typically occurs in our early adolescence as our focus of learning and attachment shifts away from our parents and onto external factors such as our friends and hobbies. With this shift comes a need for acceptance in our new social domains. It is during this time that another significant experience occurs that compels us to realize that we don't belong in these new groups based on who we currently are. We experience rejection from the very sources whose approval matters the most to us at that point in our lives. And in order to gain the acceptance we so desperately crave, we again tell ourselves a story about who we need to be. Finally, the third incident typically occurs in our late adolescence and early adulthood as we transition into increasingly independent people. It is during this time that we experience a moment of stark realization that we are effectively on our own. The manifestation of this awareness could be financial, emotional, moral, or spiritual in nature. Nevertheless, we all concoct a story of what this means for ourselves and how we need to be to cope with this new understanding. It's important to note that the timelines for our winning formula can vary greatly based on individual circumstances due to differences in upbringing and culture. It's also important to note that the events characterizing these three pivotal experiences are significant to each individual. There is no trauma that is too small or insignificant, as each of our specific experiences play a defining role in shaping who we become. We don't have to grow up in a war zone and be tortured for a trauma to affect us. Humans are remarkably adaptable and can find pleasure and pain in the best and worst of circumstances. Lastly, there is nothing wrong with our stories. They make us who we are and have helped us survive thus far. Chronicling our fundamental genesis of identity is a tool to help us become more self-aware, empathetic, and compassionate. With it, we learn to better recognize our own strengths and weaknesses while realizing that the past can also unwittingly affect the behavior of others, often through no fault of their own. Understanding our winning formula simply helps us identify how shifting our perspective and altering our stories might reveal new possible modes of being for ourselves.